What is going on, beautiful people? Welcome to another episode of Self-Aware Narcissist Sundays. I am your favorite self-aware narcissist, Lee Hammock, better known as Mental Healness across all social media platforms. This series right here, y'all, is dedicated to my therapy journey, learning how to live with narcissistic personality disorder, highly narcissistic traits, and things like that. This series is to help empower other people to seek help if that's what you want, if that's what they want, they themselves want. Today's episode is going to be about what do narcissists want? What do you want, y'all? Literally, that's one thing that narcissistic people really need to get clear on. That's the question that they need to answer themselves. This this video is not for like not for men. For I, I like I know a lot of survivors and victims and thrivers watch these videos as well, but this isn't for you to figure it out. If you are living with a narcissistic person or there's a narcissistic person in your life. They need to figure out what they want on their own. They have to get clear on what they want, what they are looking for, for goals within themselves, in their lives, in their relationships. Because me personally, that's one of the biggest struggles that I've had to encounter on my own personal self-awareness journey. Like me going through therapy, like the thing that I want is to try to lead a happy, healthy life. And how do I lead that? By going through therapy, by working on myself, by putting the time, effort, energy in to understand other people's perspective and to listen and talk to other people to see how other people feel. You see what I'm saying? Trying to rationalize with people, trying to understand people. I know what I want from therapy. Some people just worry, I want to go to therapy just so my my partner won't leave me. My husband or wife will stay. That, that, y'all, that doesn't work. So, no, 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 no. Let me rephrase that. That might work, but not the way you think it's going to work. They might stay with you because you go to therapy. But guess what happens? When they realize that therapy is not working for you, when they realize that therapy is just a performance piece, when they realize therapy is just another tool that you are using to manipulate them, they're going to leave and they're going to leave for good. And then you're going to waste a lot of their time, effort, and energy to try to get them back in a relationship with you. When you know that they're not happy with you, when you know that you're not happy with them, you're not, yo, you're not happy with them. You just don't want to be by yourself. You have to get clear on what you want. The narcissistic person has to get clear on what you actually want. What do you want? Because right now, where you're sitting at right now, what you are doing, what you have done so far isn't working. So what do you want? I know a lot of other people, like the survivors and victims and thrivers, you, you'll, you'll say it's, it's super simplistic. Narcissists want control. They want validation. They want this. That's true. But it's deeper than that. What do you want? Who do you want it from? What do you want and who do you want it from? You have to figure it out for yourself. You see what I'm saying? I, when I was growing up, I wanted the approval for my, from my father that I was a good boy, that I was a good little boy, that I was a good, I turned into a good man. I wanted the approval from him. I realized I didn't need that. What I really wanted when I got clear on it is this validation. I wanted validation that I mattered. I wanted to matter to the people that I wanted to matter to. You see what I'm saying? I wanted to be important to the people that were important to me, or at least that I thought would be important to me. You see how that works in that space right there? You have to get clear on what you want. What do you really want? And can you get that? I just want my father to tell me that he's proud of me. You might not ever get that. Why do you need it? Do you actually need that or do you just that's something you just you just want? Don't conflate wants and needs. You want your mother or your father or whoever to tell you that they're proud of you, to validate you, but you don't really want that. You need to validate yourself. You see what I'm saying? You gotta get clear, y'all. Get clear. Get clear. You have to. Because when you are not clear, everybody else around you is cloudy as hell. Everybody else's life is is foggy as hell. Everybody else's existence does not is not going the way that you wanted to go, that you needed to go. Everybody doesn't live the same way that you live. Stop trying to get people to fit inside of your box because the more people you try to squeeze into your box, the more overflowed and full your box will get. That's just the way it works, y'all. You can't, y'all. So many people try to exhaust you. You want to control everybody else to fit into your box. Instead of just dealing with your own type of mental health stuff that you have going on, 
Get clear on what you want. The narcissistic person in your life or the narcissistic person that's watching this, you have to get clear on what you actually want. What do you want? What do you want? I want my kids to grow up happy and healthy and I want them to be better than me. And that's also a need. I need them to grow up happy and healthy because that, you know, I need to do my best. What I'm really trying to say is I need to do my best. I want them to grow up ha happy and healthy and have the best chance of living a happy, healthy life. What I need to do to get there is to be a happy, healthy parent. Is be happy and healthy myself. I can't expect that from them if I'm not giving. If I, I can't expect from them what I'm not giving to from what I'm not expecting from myself. You see what I'm saying? Stop expecting from other people what you're not doing yourself. So many narcissistic people get into this mindset where well, you expect everybody else to change and be better. But you, you're great, right? You're perfect, right? Nothing you do is wrong. It's everybody, everything that happens is somebody else's fault. No, it's not. But you understand it is really not. You don't want to sit with that. You know it's not everybody else's fault. You just don't want to sit with the fact that it, it isn't everybody else's fault. But you, so you continue to blame everybody else. I feel this way because of you. I think this way because of that. I turned out this way because my mom and dad did this, did that. And there's millions of people on this planet, y'all, who, who have had terrible, probably billions, who have had terrible familial experiences. Like you grew up in terrible households, terrible, awful. And you suffer, you suffer from it. But when you grow up, you have to shed, y'all, when you grow up, you have to shed that. Because the longer you held, hold on to, my mom did this, my dad did that, my mom did this, my dad did this, my grandma did this, my grandpa did this. As long as you hold on to that, they have the power in your life. They have the power over you, the power and control over you in your life. I held a grudge against my father for over, for damn near 30, over 30 years. For 32, 33 years, I was angry as hell at him because he didn't give me the love that I felt like I wanted and needed. But my therapist said, she's like, Lee, you don't like people you don't like people being in control over you, do you? I said, like, no, hell no. You don't like happy you don't like people being in control or telling you what to do, do you? You don't like to be you don't like for people to have control over your emotions, do you? I'm like, hell no, I hate that. She's like, well, every time you talk about your father, you get angry. So he's in control. You're not. Every time you talk about your, your dad and you get angry and you can't take it, you can't handle a conversation about him, you're not in control of your own self. He is. He's in control of your emotions. He's in control of you. I was like, oh, hell no. So if anything, y'all, I use my anger and hatred towards him that I had for a long time. I used that to be, to, to I focused that energy into a positive. And I don't hate my dad no more. I don't hate him. I, yeah. Am I going to go out my way to just be like, hey, you come hang out now. I ain't about to do all that. But I don't hate him. Hey, I know he went to. He, I know he himself had a traumatic childhood, just, just unbelievable. When your 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 own father unalives himself, and you're one of the one of the ones who found him. That right there can traumatize anybody. So he had his own childhood trauma. So yeah, that helped me release what I felt for him, the anger I had for him. You know what I mean? They helped me release that. They helped me empower myself. It just in that unique space. But uh, everybody else, like I said. You have to empower yourself on this journey because if you don't, I'm just telling you, if you don't empower yourself, you're gonna lose your, you're gonna lose your family, you're gonna lose your partner, you're gonna lose your kids, you're gonna watch, you're gonna be angry as hell and blaming them and try to make their life harder. You're gonna lose them for treating them badly, and when they move on and somebody else is treating them good, you're gonna make their life harder. And that shit is pathetic. That shit is pathetic. That shit is grant. That shit is grant. That shit is so hugely pathetic. For you to mistreat somebody for so long and they finally decide to leave your ass and they find somebody else that's treating them better for you to try to make their life harder because you're mad because you're angry at them come on now you gotta pick it up it's not their fault that they decided to leave when you if you were treating them badly get clear on what you want or what you're going to see is them get them getting treated by somebody else better and you could be mad as hell it's going to hurt your feelings going to break your dad damn heart and you have nobody to blame but yourself you're going to try to blame them Oh, they didn't listen to me. They didn't do this. They didn't do that. They didn't make you cheat on them. They didn't make you put their hands on you. They didn't make you. They didn't make you put their your hands on them. They didn't treat your kids badly. They didn't yell and scream in front of the kids. They didn't fight. They didn't do all that type of stuff. Yo, come on. I mean, you got you either got to look internally right now, or you're gonna look externally at them getting treated better by somebody else. You either look internally at yourself, take a good picture of yourself, or you're gonna look externally and watch somebody else give them what you tried, what you couldn't. And look at you 
already thinking about it as being angry as hell and thinking of ways that you can make their life harder. Get clear on what you want or what you don't want is going to happen. If you do not get clear on what you do actually want, what you do not want is going to take over and take control. So the choice is yours. The choice is absolutely 100% with no equivocation yours. You got to push through the pain. You have to push through the anger. You have to push through the resentment. You have to push through all of that shit so you can empower yourself. Because if you don't, I'm just telling you, you're going to watch your family get treated bad by somebody else. And you're going to be angrily bitter. You'll be the bitter person trying to make their life harder because somebody else is giving them what you couldn't, what you didn't want to, what you could have, but you didn't want to. You really didn't want to get clear on what you want and let your actions back up your words. Your words don't mean shit. Keep it hot. Your words mean absolutely nothing. Your actions are what tell you your actions are what it is, y'all. Get clear on your actions. Get clear on your actions. Get clear on your wants and needs and get clear on your actions. Your words don't mean anything if the actions are not there to empower them. But anyways, y'all, hope y'all enjoyed this series. I've been getting some good feedback from people that say they watch this series, which I this is my least watched series, so interact with it, like, comment, do whatever you need to, y'all. Um of course, like and subscribe for more. And as always, y'all, mental illness is out. Peace. Thanks for making it to the end, y'all. If you haven't already, make sure you check out the I Love Me brand, the self-love brand. Link is in the description of every single video and podcast that we do. Thank you so much.